Hey everybody. Uh, recently I had a viewer ask me to make a short video on calibrating different functions of the Garmin Phoenix 3 watch. Uh, this goes hand in hand with um, complaints and questions that I've received uh, through Twitter and YouTube. People having issues with their altimeter messing up and the barometer and everything. Uh, what people need to understand is that the altimeter and the barometer work hand in hand. Okay, they have to be calibrated. The altimeter has to be calibrated every now and then in order for things to work well. Okay, so I'm going to show how to calibrate the altimeter, uh, the barometer, and the compass. Start off with the easiest first, uh, the compass, which is automatically calibrated at the factory, at the Garmin, you know, where they make the Garmin Phoenix 3s, as soon as you turn it on. But I will show you how to do it. Long press the up button. Go to settings. Go down to sensors. Go to compass. Calibrate. Start. Rotate the watch in a figure eight motion. What that means is just go like this. It's no big deal. This is a figure eight. Calibration complete. Very quick. And you can show the display, letters and degrees, north reference, true, mode, auto, all that stuff. And to show you, right now I am facing pretty much directly south. And let's see here. And there we go. So there we go. There we go. And there we go. So it's, it's almost south. 180 degrees would be south. Okay, next up, the uh, altimeter. Okay, long press up, go to settings, go down to sensors, and you can see here your altimeter. A couple different ways you can do it. You can auto calibrate. You can turn that on and it auto calibrates every now and then. And you can enter your current elevation. Right, or you can use GPS. If you use GPS, that only works if you're outdoors and it goes, my understanding is it goes by the nearest town or city. I like to enter it. Uh, the reason is right now I'm in my apartment, which is about 15 feet above the elevation of my town. And the elevation of my town is 879 feet. So I'm going to enter the elevation as 894, which is about 15 feet higher than the actual elevation. So there you go. Now you can calibrate it using GPS and look what happens here. It waits for GPS, takes a while. I don't really want to do it because I'm not, I'm not outdoors. And, and to check it, just go back to the main screen here and 894. And right there I have it at four hours. Let's see here. Going down to sensors. And now let me calibrate the barometer. You can calibrate the plot. Okay, this is all you can do. You can't enter in your barometric pressure because it's based off the atmospheric pressure, which is based off of your elevation. So 48 hour plot. This is what it looks like. I'll show you here. That's a four, see 48 hours. That's what's happened in the last 48 hours here. Pressure has dropped. Okay. Now, if I do a four hour plot, this is what it shows. Whoops, storm alert. Go down to 24, 12 hour, six hour plot. We'll show a six hour plot. And let's see, six hour plot. This is what's happened in the past six hours. Uh, one thing it showed, you can do a storm alert, which if uh, the pressure is going wildly up or down, then it'll give you an alert. Okay, so that's the altimeter, that's the compass, that's the pressure. Now let me show you how to see these things. Go to settings, go down to widgets, and you can show what to show and what to hide. Okay, I have ABC, which is the altimeter, barometer, and compass, the compass, and the altimeter, and the barometer. And you can show anything you want. 
I have my main screen here, which is my favorite watch face. And there's the barometer set at six hour plot. There's the altimeter at 894. Remember, I just calibrated it. And if I were going to go on any sort of adventure or anything outdoors, I always calibrate this, always. And then there is my compass. And there is one of my favorite screens. Altimeter, compass, shows the degrees and the actual uh, you know, bearing or heading, whatever that is. And then the barometer is showing it's holding steady. Perfect. Well, I hope this helps. And th the lesson to learn here, the most important thing, calibrate your altimeter because the altimeter affects the barometer. Calibrate your compass every now and then, although that's not as important. Hope this helps, guys.